Salesforce Einstein service replies and case summaries increase his customer satisfaction and reduce his agent handling time with AI generated replies. Let's have a look. All right, so we are in the service app in Salesforce and service replies requires us to answer a chat. So we need to make ourselves available to receive a chat. To do that, we need to set our omni-channel status to online. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to open the self-service page where a customer would be able to initiate a chat. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the self-service page link and uh, I'm going to click on chat with an expert. Um, here we can start a chat. So I'm going to fill out some uh, information here on this uh, chat box and um, start chatting. Now in a second, the chat bot um, that we have set up here will answer the request and give us uh, some options. We can select any option um, that we want, but ultimately we want to chat with a live person. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and select chat with a live person here so that our uh, chat can be routed to a service agent. Now this will route the chat directly to a service agent. We're gonna hear a little ping in a second uh, in our service console. And now we can accept the request and see all the details about uh, this new chat that just came in. So anytime a uh, customer types in a message uh, to the service agent, service replies will automatically uh, be generated for you on the top right hand side of that page there. So here we have uh, the chat that's open. Um, and uh, as a customer, I am just going to uh, request uh, some help getting back into uh, my account. So if we go back, uh, we can see the service replies have generated uh, a text for us. Um, and as I said, anytime a new message comes in, a new reply is generated. And so we can review it. And if we like it, we can just click post and that will paste and send the chat into our conversation here. Or we can click edit and that will just enter, uh, paste the chat into our um, chat box, but it won't send. They will give us the option to be able to make changes to it. So in this case, we'll hit post um, and that will just send the chat over to Emily, who is uh, our customer in this scenario here. Okay, so um, next, what we want to do is as a customer, I'm just going to provide the information that the service agent is uh, requesting from me. And that's obviously going to show up on his end as well. Um, and then again, a new uh, generated reply has been generated for me. So I can go ahead and, and click post uh, to send that through. And so I'm just going to tell the agent, look, I just need help uh, resetting uh, my password. Um, and so uh, I want to see what kind of reply that prompts for the service reply generated responses. And sure enough, it's giving me um, some really useful instructions of how to do that. So um, as a service agent, I don't have to um, type anything. Uh, the system will just give me uh, the information uh, that I need. And so I'm going to be able to go ahead and post that into the chat and really quickly and uh, be able to help Emily get back into uh, her account. So I'll go ahead and click post. Um, and now you can basically uh, chat with your customers using service replies uh, to quickly respond to any of their messages. So the service replies uh, uh, are auto-generated every time the customer sends in a message. So these are AI-generated replies uh, that are obviously part of Salesforce Einstein for the service console. Um, now, in order to show work summaries feature, we need to conclude this chat. So this is a conversation that needs to have happened and it needs to be something to summarize. So if you're testing this, make sure that you provide enough context to the conversation that it can be summarized. Um, and then when you're ready, uh, you can close the chat and that's when that new feature will kick in. So we'll demo that now, we'll go ahead and end this chat. And then uh, what you'll be able to see is on the right hand side under case summarization, we're going to be able to see three new fields that are auto populated and highlighted in yellow for you. Um, and this is essentially part of the work summaries feature um, that Salesforce is offering. So we have three different fields here. 
the summary field is going to provide us with a summary of the conversation that we've had. So in this case, Emily contacted the chat to get support accessing her account and resetting her password. Um, next, we're going to see the issues uh, field that's going to give us a little summary about what the issue was in relation to. We're going to see the resolution. So what was the actual resolution that we provided um, to the customer um, for this particular issue? And then we can go ahead and hit save. And you can make sure that this uh, data has been saved on your record if you just go to your cases and click on details. And if you scroll down, you've got the three fields there um, with the auto uh, populated work summaries. So that's the demo. Now you can chat with your customers using service replies to quickly respond to their messages. Just remember, the service replies are auto generated each time a customer sends in a new message and case summaries happens after you end the chat with your customer to summarize the conversation that you had with them. Until next time.